is your tech tuber rahul i got really positive reviews about my last video where i provided solution for this red screen issue which we generally face uh, with any plugin maybe it's a titles plugin or uh, we have this in the effects plugin so actually there i told you uh, from a method where we can diagnose the problem just by opening up the specific plugin into the apple motion and over there when the plugin loads we get access to what are the missing things which are creating problem in that plugin but this video will be specific about plugins uh, from as you can see pixel film studios because no matter what uh, you try to solve this problem this problem doesn't solve and it doesn't look as simple as how i solved the same problem of this uh, red screen into my previous video so in this video i will not actually tell you the solution to this problem but i will help you develop the understanding of what actually this problem is so right now uh, let's talk about this plugin from uh, pixel film studios see last time when i told about any plugin which was not working i asked you people to simply right click on it open it into into the motion and there you can see that what are the things missing for example over here we have the missing fonts font is not a problem you can simply access that font and install it on in your pc but what's about this generator the last time the problem was that a generator in the name of separator was missing which we deleted because it doesn't create an, any harm to your plugin but right now if you see in detail in this case you have problem with the filters fonts that's fine but problem with the filters as well so my point my main reason to make this video is if you open some plugin which is not actually working in your final cut pro into the motion and you see a number of problems and the problems are not just related to the generator uh, which was named separator in the last video so if the problem is not just related to the generator and we have problem with filters as well as fonts so this kind of problem actually tells that this problem is a compatibility issue means it's like everything because filter is a main part i am not that expert into the motion files but what i can tell you is that filter is a very important part if you delete that file and you save your whole plugin you will lose everything about your plugin so you cannot simply do the way i did into my previous video about the generator that i deleted it and i saved the plugin without the generator and it worked but over here you cannot simply delete the filter and after uh, saving it you cannot make it run like a normal plugin into final cut pro so the problem over here is the problem of compatibility while installing a number of uh, such plugins when you install them manually you get a separate installing guidebook or text file where they tell you that into the installer file there is one dot fx plug folder and what you need to do is you need to copy that dot fx plug file and need to save it in one specific location into your pc and that's how you will make the plugin work there are two conditions actually number one that plugin is compatible with your current specifications while why i am seeing compatibility point is that the plugins which are coming for your m1 chipset max for example over here in my case my mac is m1 based mac so if you have downloaded the plugin and you have installed that plugin without the installer you have manually installed it so if the plugin is made for the m1 system and if you follow all the steps you copy that .fx plug file let me show you for example uh, over here i have this separator.fx plug and m call, call out simple to .fx plug file if you copy these two files and you save them to one specific location in your pc and this plugin is made for m1 chipset it will solve your problem but if uh, this plugin is not developed for m1 even after following those steps it will not work 
So let me quickly tell you the steps you need to do if you are sure your plugin is made for M1 chipset. You need to copy both of these files by pressing Command plus C. Now you need to go to your computer. There you need to go into Macintosh. Over there, let me change the view. All right. Over here, you need to go into your library. And once you go to your library, you need to search for the folder name plugins. Yes, this is the folder you need to search for. And in that folder, you will see again a folder named FX plug. You open that up. So this is the location where you need to save your .fx plug files. So I will simply hit Control V. So I have pasted .fx plug folders. Now, if you are uh, this plugin which you have tried to install, uh, once you copy .fx plug file over here, and again once you go back to your plugin and that copy that your plugin and you simply copy that plugin folder and go and save it to its respective location by respective location i mean uh, into your mov movies folder under the motion template and into the specific location. For example, if it is a title based plugin, you simply go to the title and you simply hit control plus V. I have already saved it over here. So if you do this and then you simply close your Final Cut Pro and restart it, your plugin will be will not have any problem provided it is developed for M1 Mac. If your plugin is not developed for M1, for example, in this case, I suffered the problem specifically with uh, my pixel film studios because uh, some of their plugins for example this plugin is auto tracker so i purchased auto tracker from pixel film studios i ignored the message which mentioned that a new update is coming soon for m1 and i installed it i tried to follow all the steps the uh, the plugins didn't work then i contacted uh, the pixel film studios their developers online they got in touch with me they took the remote access of my pc they did a lot many things tried to uh, make it run but while inquiring them i understood the two main points which i want to convey over here if your plugin shows a number of problems when you try to open it in motion for example in this case it showed around 10 to 15 issues some with generators some with the filters and some with fonts so if filter is coming up you should be aware i asked the same question to the developer he said don't try to do this don't try to open it in motion because our plugin is not based on motion the right way to check is they told me two points first you need to go and reach to that again the specific location which i told you people this gives a better understanding into the library and plugins and FX plug. So if you see these files, these are files of Pixel Film Studio. If you see these files existing, that means you have done most of the part of installation right. And if you are still facing the problem that it is not working, you need to wait because your Mac is M1 uh, chipset based Mac and that particular plugin has not yet been developed for that chipset. That's why your plugin is not working because they didn't take care of that part and they tried to solve this problem. They spent around 30 minutes on my PC, on my Mac and uh, later I told them and they just realized a, a big blunder that they forgot to check. Uh, the specs of my mac so if uh, into your fx plug you see all these files of pixel film studios plugin into this particular location let me show you the location of this one again it is inside your hard disk library plugins fx plug and over here the files exist means the most of the part is done right if you don't see that means you need to make these folders and you need to make sure these files exist over here. 
so in order to make these files exist over here if you are sure that your mac and your plugin they are compatible so the way for that is a specific file which the pixel film studios uh, their programmers they shared with me that file so here is that file fx run is the name you simply need to download that file because that file does what it checks everything that whether that fx plug folder is in place or not so it actually resets everything if that is the problem in your case so the way to download this fx run file is simply go to pixel film studios and into that chat section raise your query a developer will get in touch with you and he will give you the link to this application this is a very simple application let me show you you simply double click it it does some a little bit of uh, opening up of windows i think they were from the terminal so it did some command work and finally you see this uh, this box simply need to close it this will ensure that over that location which i just showed you the plugins folder fx plug folder and there you have the files from pixel film studios plugin so it makes sure that part is all right once you make sure that part is all right your plugin will work again the condition is your plugin should be compatible with the m1 chipset system if it is not then still it will have the same problem it will not work so in that scenario you'll have to wait for the update to come and then you'll have to download and install that and then only your plugin will work so that's all in this video it was all about to tell you that if you are doing all those things and your plugin is not compatible with your system you will still not be able to solve this problem that's all in this video take care bye bye